Hello there, folks. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a uh, kind of like an overview of a uh, the Kenwood model KA 3344 um, and all its cool little features and functions, and um, how the look of its uh, internals and all. Maybe if we get that far. But uh, first off, I like to uh, apologize for the squeaky chair I'm sitting in. So uh, I'm probably going to stand up now. I would, well, we're going to sit down for a minute. But I um, apologize for the squeaky uh, computer chair. I'm at my uh, computer desk here. So uh, anyway, uh, the story behind this was um, I I, uh, I usually go around to uh, local thrift stores and stuff and uh it's just to see what they have because they usually don't have old stuff like this it'll be fairly cheap I'm talking like dollars and like the I mean they'll be selling them on eBay for like hundreds of dollars and in the the store managers at these stores they know but they just you know they're they're not into oh my gosh you know we gotta make a quick buck or you know we gotta get as much as we can but it, they're just kind of like nah whatever you know a couple bucks you know it's sold it's gone but um the story behind this was I had went to one of the thrift stores I go to and asked for uh, – I usually go and I ask for broken, uh, broken electronics and stuff. And um, so I spoke to the manager. She said, yes, they have a, a scrap pile. Um, they throw everything in and they have a guy that comes and uh, takes it off to the uh, scrap yard and all. But um, fortunately, uh, his truck had broke down that week. And uh, wasn't able to get the scrap, so I uh, had first dibs on it. Uh, she said so I could get whatever I want as much as I want uh, because the pile was getting pretty high; it was getting pretty big. So um, I was digging through it and found this uh, kind of sitting on the side. I, I think I'm, I'm not sure it was like some stuff on top of it. I pulled it out. The uh, power cord, which I got plugged into this extension cord here was uh was cut uh i did rig up my own uh cord here uh it's wired up inside uh, i don't know if you can see that yeah, you can't see it. it's too dark but i had wired up my own plug uh to it plugged it in hope for the best and it fired up and uh, everything worked i tested and all but the one problem was these lights right here you see that red light right now is idle because I'm, I'm not playing any music I'm gonna play a test song in a moment but uh, half of these lights were burned out and from my understanding everything else worked but what had happened was somebody bought it expecting it to work fine but these lights were burned out and they thought it was garbage so they took it back said that it was broke and you know the store man they're, they're busy doing other things so they're just like eh, you know just toss it in the trash pile and uh yeah this was basically thrown out because of these lights in here were burned out which i will also i'm going to in the uh hopefully in this video i might split it into two parts so it's not a long like 30 minute video but uh how to replace these light bulbs in here um and they take a special kind uh and they're not sold at uh, just any store. They're sold at, sold at a specific store. But uh, anyway, base, back to this now. Um, so I take it, took the chassis off and everything, looked at it. I've replaced the light bulbs. Um, I've taken this whole front cover, all the knobs off and everything, and cleaned it up. As you can see, it's real nice and shiny. Uh, the lens right here is really clear, really uh, clean nice mirror image so um, on to this now so uh, you got your sound illumination uh, control here this controls the sensitivity and you can also turn it off if you hear the click and you turn it back on and if you see here it doesn't go off all the way which is weird but you see it, it, it'll just stay there at that I don't know weird evil looking glow <laughs> But yeah, and you just control the um, how loud and uh, how or not how loud, but the intensity of it, how the responsiveness, the sensitivity. But uh, anyway, you got your rear level now. From my understanding, this was manufactured in the seventies, I think nineteen seventy four to seventy eight, somewhere like that. I found a um, 
uh, news ad on here. I, I searched this model up. Um, you get the instruction manuals and stuff like what what it's supposed to look like, like just the picture of it but it's in black and white but there's really nothing else there's no ebay uh stuff that pops up there and all it tells you about it so i don't even know honestly how old this is because this is actually pretty rare to find and i found it in a scrap pile so that's uh i was pretty fortunate to come across this so um I found one ad, like I said, on a website. I don't even remember, honestly. Um, I may search it up later on again and put it down in the link. But uh, it, put the link down in the description. But uh, I, I don't even know when this was manufactured, honestly. Um, I didn't even know uh, anything about it, like I said. But um, anyway, so um, you got your rear... Uh, Rear level, uh, which is supposed to be high, but this is kind of like your surround, uh, your surround sound settings. So you got your left and right, and then you got your crossover here, which is 40, uh, 800, 5000. That is for the rear level, uh, and of course, you got this IDS. Uh, now this, it, this came out before, um, Dolby Surround, uh, was invented if i'm correct dolby didn't come out and dolby surround didn't come out until the early 80s is when it was developed now correct me if i'm wrong just put it down in the description but anyway so down here you got your power on now one thing about this is you it's you got your power off you got your on which is your main amplifier and then you got phones uh, and that's for the headphone port, which I got these powered self USB powered speakers hooked up to to test it on because uh, the back port amplifier, the main amplifier, is kind of weird. I'll explain that in a minute. But you got your bass, your treble, your bass, whatever you want to call it, and then your your balance. Then you got your loudness, and this this is mechanical, so uh, it does. It, it, you have to actually push. It's 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 got a really strong spring in there. Oops, at the mark on the aluminum. And uh, yeah, this is aluminum face right here. It's probably about five or about five mil five millimeters thick or so. Uh, and this uh, bezel right here is actually uh, cast uh, uh, cast iron right here. And then you got your aluminum trim at the top. So it's really nice. A little scratched up. Could use a little bit of uh, touch up, especially on the chassis. You got some scratches and stuff. You probably like restain that maybe. And then of course you got your ventilation at the back, which this does get warm, but doesn't get like hot, hot. But um, anyway, then you got your volume controls and then your selector. Uh, now what this is is your you got your four channel in, four channel out, two channel in to four channel, and IDS. Um, now this I don't I, honestly this part about this whole unit is extremely confusing. Because you got your four channel in, so you got like your left, right, front, left, right, rear in, and then it's supposed to be left, right, you know, convert it to stereo on, on the headphones. But it's kind of, it, it doesn't work if you don't have four channel in, nothing. So if you have something plugged into the two channel on the back and you want it to run on the four channel on through the headphone port, it won't play any sound. It's, it's, it's dead. And if you play two channel to four channel, it sounds like you're listening only to the surround sound, the two rear levels. Uh, it's it's kind of like a like a reverb effect, is what it sounds like. And so I don't know, it's very weird. And then your IDS, it's just normal standard stereo, is what comes out of this of the headphone port. So it's a little weird. So we're gonna connect disconnect that for a minute so we can turn this around. But that's the front. Um, now. Oops. Yeah. Get these everything settled. Okay. So uh, you got your little genuine sticker there uh, that was left on it. Uh, you got your ground. You got your two channel in, and this is your four channel input. Now this is kind of like the newer today. How you got your your five point one surround. You got your left, right, front, left, right, rear, rear, center, and sub. I think that's it. And so this is kind of before all that was invented. Uh, so it's kind of like you got your left, right, front, and left, right, rear, basically. And you got tape recorder, and then you got your encoder and the normal. I don't even know what that is. Um, 
you got your four channel front out. Now this is for speakers, your your actual, you know, your tower speakers is what this is for. For some reason they use the uh, RCA on this. Of course this is old, so this is before they had like uh, terminal connectors and stuff like that. Uh, but they could have used this, which, okay, I know I just said before they used them, but they, I don't know why they use that on, on these, but we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, you got your tape recorder, uh, left, right, play, record, and then whatever this, uh, for, I want to say um, SLI plug. I, 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 I used to know the name of this, but I forgot at the moment. But uh, anyway, then your low out, this is also for your speakers. And then you got your uh, model number and everything. And then at full power, it draws 80 watts. But I, um, I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, and then this is your main output, your high, left, right, and then your four channel, your low, and then your fuses for the speakers. And then your voltage selector, fuse, and your two plugs. Now, what I meant by, I get back to this, this is actually a universal voltage. As you can see, it's got 110, 120, 220, 240, but we're currently running this on 120 right now. So I got it on the 120 mode, and this is your uh, main fuse. Uh, right here is for your power going in and you see where I replaced the cord I don't I, that little crimp piece I had that's supposed to go on there like the little retainer I lost that so that's not in there but anyway uh, that's pretty much it for the back now one thing that is a little uh, weird is when you try to use the back speakers um, how it's supposed to have the left right front and the left right rear when when you're using two channel to four channel only the left right rear will play but the front the left right front the stereo won't play and then when i actually used a four channel i used a uh, let me see if i can get it one of these these splitters like this for two channel to con convert it to the four channel and uh, I, I don't know, it didn't work. It was, it, uh, it still did the same thing. So I don't know if there's something internally wrong with the amplifier. That's also why it might have been returned. Uh, but I, I really don't know. Uh, but the thing that is weird is then when I switched it to, um, I think it was, yeah, I, I did the opposite. I did two channel in, or what, what did I just say? Two channel in to four channel, uh, the front right only the high uh, the crossover or the high frequency the the f two f left right front works. But then when I switch it to four channel in four channel in only the rear surround works. So but they're supposed to be both. So like if you have a two channel in, it's supposed to be stereo front uh, stereo front left right and then your surround and then your four channel to four channel is the same thing. You know. Because you're putting four in it. it it's all already divided up. This is just, it goes to like a little sound processor and it divides it into four channels. But it does not work. I don't, I, I'm not, I, I mean, I've tried every combination possible. I even tried the, uh, the high out on the, uh, the back here on this, on these, and no sound comes out. So I'm assuming it's fried. I don't know. Somebody, somebody could have messed it up, but this is a low-powered amplifier. I, I found the spec sheet. I think the output for, uh, for each channel is like 10 watts, 10 or 12 watts per channel. So this is very, very low uh, wattage. But um, anyway, one th one thing I can say I like about this is how the mechanical switches. It's like really stiff. Clicks on and clicks off. Uh, same thing with this and this but these are actually like sliders or little potentiometers and stuff uh, and another thing that does it, it uh, one more issue is whenever this plays uh, whenever this is on it's actually bouncing up it actually has like crackling noise that comes out in the background now I don't, I don't know if it's gonna do it on the um, the main these little bookshelf speakers I got here um, it didn't do it a minute ago before I did the video. I was testing everything, make sure everything was set up, and it didn't do it. But when you're using headphones uh, or earbuds, it is very noticeable. Um, and it does have like the uh, 60 hertz humming in the back uh, when there's no sound playing through it. And it does have some weird. If you, if you listen closely, if you're sitting here, 
it'll have some weird interference noises. I, I'm not joking. It literally, earlier, I was messing around with it before I decided to do a video on it. And it was sounded like some, like, arcade games or something playing in the background. It was very strange. Like, almost like a Pac-Man or something. It was kind of weird. But, uh, it's, since it's warmed up and all, it's stopped doing it. I, I don't know if it's because of, like, dirts between these potentiometers in here. The connections, the contactors. Or, uh, I mean, this is brand new. I mean, this shouldn't be. This is clean. And, I don't know if you can see through there. There's not much dirt in that. So, I don't know if it was that or the capacitors as well. Uh, this thing does need to be recapped and everything because there is everything is original. So the only thing I've replaced is the uh, the light bulbs in the little spectrum analyzer. That's it. So we are going to plug this in. Um, it does make a hiss noise. I don't know if you can hear that. So uh, I'm going to turn this light up and out the way and. Um, turn the volume down and we're going to play a song by no copyright sounds it is jim yosef i think i'm pretty sure that's his name uh it's called fireflies let me make sure that's the correct I'll, I'll link the music down in the description oh no excuse me it's called eclipse by jim yosef uh by no copyright uh ncs release so um here we go You can probably hear the crackling in there. I don't know if you can tell if that uh, that the sound just changed. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch this over to uh, from the ID uh, IDS to the two to four channel. As you can see, uh, I don't know if you can hear that on here. I know this is a stereo uh, microphone on this uh, camera here, but uh, on the phone, excuse me. But um, it, when you switch it over the two to four, it actually goes into surround sound. These two go in surround sound mode. Of course, it's only a two channel, but uh, I, I don't know. The same thing happens with the back, but except it only goes through one set of speakers, either the front, the front or the rear. I don't know. It doesn't. It it's never played both. I mean, I've tried all kind of wiring uh, combinations with this uh, model, and I've looked up for schematics and everything, and I found models similar to this, but not this exact model or the instructions to it. So, um, I'm just kind of screwed on that. So, but anyway, I'll continue to play the song. And uh, actually, let me pause. I'm gonna turn the lights out. And, uh, this main light here and see if you can see this uh, this a little bit better because I know the auto white balance is drowning this out and it's not actually that bright 
Okay, we're back, and let's play the song, finish playing it. That's it. Um, thank you for. Uh, oh wait, is it doing it again? I thought it was doing the weird interference noise. But uh, part two's next. Uh, I'm gonna link it down in the description. But um, I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna show you how to replace these light bulbs in here and all that good stuff. But um, appreciate you watching the video. Leave a like. If you like the video, if you didn't, dislike it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, I can try my best to answer it. Uh, uh, write it down in the uh, comments, and uh, I'll link this song in the description as well. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.